Hello, if you saw my video on the turntable, you'll know that uh, I got myself a new speaker. Now, this was a speaker that I asked for. It was a Anker Soundcore 3. Now, I didn't know that they'd got a new version, but this is what, what arrived, and so I thought I'd show it to you. Took a couple of attempts to get a reasonable picture of this, but as you can see here, so it's exceptional clarity, so I had to get a good picture. Anyway, it's Soundcore 3. It's a portable speaker. It's about the size of a brick. The dimensions are actually 17 and a half by six by six centimeters, which is yeah, it's a small brick. And it weighs 640 grams, which is about the weight of a brick, no, a small brick. Anyway, you can see the box is pretty. So let's have a look at the website. This is the Amazon website for the Anker Soundcore 3. And you can see there it's got nice specifications, various bits up and down on it. So you can see better, better shots on here than I can do actually on my own because this was done professionally well that's their excuse but you can see here it's got ipx7 waterproofing it's got stereo sound 24 hours titanium drivers sound that suits you and you so that means you can actually use it with an app to set up your various things um it it's got firmware updates and things and as you can see here it's quite quite a smart looking thing it's nicer looking than the Soundcore 2. The only thing that I find is a you know, little bit makes it less useful than it might otherwise be is that it hasn't got an external input, an auxiliary input, whatever you want to call it. It's purely Bluetooth, but it's Bluetooth 5. It has got very, very good sound. I will try and give you a proper sound a playback on it because um, I've got the problem that my phone doesn't do sound particularly well and the speaker does so um, trying to pick it up is a bit of a problem but I have got an external recorder I might give that a go see if I can get that to work digital recorder anyway that's the speaker itself as it's shown on the website and it's comparative things it's worth looking on the on the Amazon site make sure you get the the good listing and there are vouchers to be had at this time now uh, this it comes with a fairly com comprehensive instruction book well uh, sheet and uh, it's written in multiple languages as you can see here but um, yeah at least they they try and tell you what's what even if it's not the most obvious thing you've got various function buttons on it and things which they try to explain Anyway, we'll go on to the next bit here. So, what do you get in the box? Well, I'll show you. We can get the box open. It's got one of those really, really annoying, sticky little things there, which is a bit annoying. I've said annoying twice now, and I'm going to say again. It was just quite annoying getting it open. Now, I have opened the box before, but um, this is what you get in it. So, the speaker is sat nicely in there. It's got that rubbery sort of surface rubber that they. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it, it'll outlast me, but then most things are going to outlast me at this point in life. It's got there, you've got the end for putting the loop, and then you've got the function buttons in the, there. Now that funny one in the middle, which looks a bit like a quaver, that is a function button in its own right. So that's for doing things like skipping tracks and whatever. And you get a, a little booklet full of warnings, which written far too small to be able to read and you get the quick start sheet which we saw earlier on in the box itself if you look down on the right hand side you'll see there is a USB-C lead and the loop for putting into the thing so you can you can wrist strap it which is nice and simple that's all you need now the reason I got this speaker was because we've had the previous sound cores and I know they are good and when I asked, when I was asked what I'd like for Christmas, I said I'd like that turntable, and I thought it'd be nice to have it as a speaker to go with it. Because although I've got a proper system, um, due to doing YouTube stuff, it's always being pulled about. And so I thought I'd like to have a decent turntable, one that wasn't too cheap, and I'd have some sound that I could actually listen to where I wanted to listen to it, rather than where the speakers were or ended up. And here we go, this is a sound test for you, as in switching it on. Here are the various noises it makes. And then um, they've changed so they've changed the noise that it starts with. And the 
Bluetooth function there is on that Bluetooth button. But anyway, so you've got those there, so that's just switching off sound. I paired it with my Bluetooth turntable, and this is what you'll be able to hear in a few seconds. This was literally a four or five second press on that little blue light back there, and then the sound core was more than happy to just connect to it and this is what it sounds like. And in a second what I'll do, I'll get a bit closer and you can hear it straight. Well, it may have become apparent to you, judging by the last bit you just looked at, that uh, video cameras in phones nowadays don't do particularly good on the sound recording. So, for want of a better way of doing it, I've got the speaker in my hand. And I've got the speak the microphone that I'm speaking into. And I've got a bit of music queued up, if I can get it, the phone to come back on. Which is always easier said than done, because it wants me fingerprint. There we go. Right, so, if it all works, this should sound good. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Try again. good bit there but I'll turn it off because I can't stop it on the phone because the phone keeps on blanking out but there we go that's a, just the joys of technology anyway that's the sound that you get from it hopefully that sounded better on this microphone so I will check it before I put it out and um, yeah there's nothing else I can do because it is a speaker and the only way I can make a speaker sound is by putting a microphone in front of it. But hopefully you got something out of that. It's well worth well worth looking into, it's well worth worth using. We've got three of them. So um you know, it's not a case of just making it up as we go along. We've got one, it was good, we bought another one, it was good, and then I asked for one and I got one. So at the end of the day, they must be good. Catch you another time. If you've got anything from this video, please like, subscribe, and um, see you another time. Bye.